Hi guys, this is Maima and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna put color correctors to an ultimate test. I'm gonna use an orange color corrector and a peach color corrector to find out which one looks better. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Freshly wash my face with my Cetaphil cleanser. I don't think I'm gonna stop using this. You gotta choose skincare according to the seasons. Then I'm gonna go ahead with my Snail Mucin and this is just my general skincare for every day. I've just taken two pumps and it's so important to have a well hydrated skin before you go in like with any makeup at all. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Jab tak aapki skin wo nahi bolegi, tab tak that's the point of doing makeup. To lock all of this hydration in, I'm going to go ahead with my cream and my moisturizer. This is from Requil. This is for dry skin type. Generally keep moving between skincare for dry skin and skincare for oily skin type because I suffer with both according to days. But we still need moisture and since I have a combination skin type, I'm going to go with a dry skin skin type product before starting with color correctors let's go in with the party primer from elf cosmetics this is the translucent one this is amazing this gives the right amount of moisture if you use matte products you need to have like an extremely moisturized and hydrated face because the matte product ends up soaking like a lot of hydration we really don't want our hair interfering with the makeup that's really annoying going forward i'm just gonna slowly prime my face get it ready for everything that we're going to put on my face beyond this point orange usually makes me look like an orange by the end of the day so i'm going to today try a peach color corrector and this is from k beauty I'm not sure how much this retails for but this is quite affordable like in indian beauty standards like maybelline and everything k beauty has been like giving the best and I don't think I've come across a product that I don't like from the brand. I already have a green color corrector, but that's for in case I have active acne, which is currently not on my skin as such. And this one is from LA Girl. It's like a cult favorite concealer. And this is in the shade orange. This is pretty deep. And for the pigmentation that I have around my eyes and the acne scars that I have, I am actually asked so much to go in for an orange one when in fact I really don't like it for how it ends up looking on my skin. So what we're gonna do is the right side, I'm gonna use the peach corrector and on the left side, I'm gonna use the orange corrector. Let's see if that makes a difference. To start with the orange corrector, the only drawback I find to LA Girl correctors is the brush. Like it's very unsanitary to use it on any other person. And also it's just difficult to apply. When you apply it with the brush directly, it comes out to be so much. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger, a little tad little bit, and I'm gonna tap it under where I have dark circles. I'm gonna go ahead with a little more. Okay, it's so difficult to get product out of it. It just like takes a lot of time. I think I'm gonna leave it right here and just let it soak on a little bit while we work on this side and have the peach corrector on it. I'm gonna directly apply this. I'm gonna use my other finger. This one has the orange and now this one's gonna blend in the peach. I am not sure how much difference that makes. Maybe I'm supposed to be putting more. I might as well use this brush to blend this out. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna swaddle it around my eye. Let's see if it makes a difference on this. The next trick with color correctors is to use a concealer that is a shade or two deeper than your original skin tone. This is 160 and medium and this is also from K Beauty. We can see this is my favorite at the moment. Like not just at the moment, I think it's been two years that I've consistently been using these. The shade match is so good. Put little dots because I didn't want the orange character to transform or like transition into the applicator. Now to blend this out, I'm gonna use my pack concealer brush and this is my absolute favorite. This is 219 and this is so dense and just allows me to blend in just like how I would like to. We are not 
going to swipe it because the swiping would mix the content of both your color corrector and your concealer we don't want to move the orange color corrector from its place so we are going to be very gentle with blending the concealer this is what the orange side looks like at the moment it is well done the top of my eye i like to go with like a good bunch of product on the top of my eye because it's a lot of pigmentation and it gives a good base for my eye shadow to sit on you can see that there's a little spark of orange coming out going ahead with the same concealer on the other side i'm going to do pretty much the same thing and we're just going to slap in a lot of concealer i was using this brush for my peach so i'm going to use it for my concealer as well so that i don't mix the orange and the peach side and i actually come to the conclusion which color corrector is for me should i like really go to the level where you use a red color corrector orange is a color corrector that would go to medium to deep skin tone you don't even need to purchase a color corrector as a like as in a red because your lipstick pretty much can do the same and that's how you save money we're going to go ahead and actually powder the top of our eyes because that would change like we would have creases if we don't do it like immediately so i'm going to use my favorite loose powder from root cosmetics So what I do is I take a little product on my sponge and I'm just going to tap off the excess. This is the product that I don't really need. And now with this, we're just going to slightly pack it. We don't have to push it beyond our limit, but very slightly. And if you think the powder is still less, you can go in and swipe with this one whatever's left. You go back dabbing. and then you go back on to the top of your eye we have a little creasing if you can see this we don't want this we're going to go ahead and we're going to blend it again right where we see a crease we patted it out we have no creases right now and we go ahead with the powder now that my eyes are packed we can move ahead with the rest of the makeup for contour and blush i am going to use my two favorites from lamel and this is also an affordable brand here in india it's available on nykaa and these were also like a game changer for me these products are not costing more than 1000 rupees each so that is a steal i'm going to take the littlest amount on the back of my hand just that i'm just going to pat in a little bit of the product from my hand and we're just going to place it right here we want the most amount of blush under painting technique is so undervalued i have the best the flawless finish after under painting and i really 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 advise people to switch to under painting i've taken whatever's left on the brush around my nose and i'm just going to give my chin a little highlight of the pink and a little on my forehead to go ahead with contour i'm going to do the same thing this is a very ash toned contour shade this is not usually something people in india use but but the best contour shade for especially me the basics of a contour are to give you your face a shadow we're going to place the shadow here and um we're going to do the same thing here i think they're pretty much a match we're just going to give my forehead a little contour under the chin because my double chin has started showing up i'm going to go ahead with my angled brush from nykaa cosmetics and we're just going to blend this in we want the contour to look like a contour like it should feel like i just added a shadow here right now it might look very streaky but we're going to go ahead with the foundation and that is going to change a lot of things on the face everything under the jaw gets to blend downwards not upwards that makes your face look even smaller I have to go in with the concealer again because we want my features to look sharper than they normally are so we're gonna cut out some things where we want a little bit more highlight we want it under my eyes a little more so that the blush blends in and then we need like a lot here As a brown girl, I have a lot of tanning to deal with, and I have. 
some extra tanning from a trip from last year to the chin because that's my problematic area and then we're going to cover some lines here not to forget the cupid's bow now this is challenging because currently i'm out of brushes what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this one from sugar and this is actually a, a foundation brush 052 this is a kabuki brush but we're out of brushes and we don't want to be this picky we don't want to mix things where they don't belong we're gonna be gentle and we are not gonna actually swipe it away we're gonna blend it inside because if we swipe whatever's underneath all of this is gone i don't think i even need to go in with a foundation anymore whatever's left i'm just gonna swipe it down because our neck needs to look like it's our neck now that we're done with all the cream products i'm gonna skip on the foundation and uh, let's maybe start powder packing immediately to powder pack my face i do not go in with a sponge i rather go in with a fluffy brush that is not very dense but is easy to like swirl around my face now that we don't want creasing here we we gotta make a weird face have a little spot right here as well that's an injury that i got when i was a kid it's your choice if you want to go in with a powder blush as well i do not recommend that because that makes your face look a little unnaturally rosy and that's very easy to spot out but first i'm going to use my mac fix plus because this helps the makeup to just melt into my skin why i like to do my eyebrows at this stage because right now my eyebrows are also pretty wet and easier to comb through fix them through like i do need to use a brow gel separately for all of this and that's one product less that's less shopping i'm gonna use my iconic pencil and i'm just gonna fill in i prefer my eyebrow pencil to also be a very ashy shade because that makes it look a little natural while if i go for a brown shade or a jet black it is very easy to identify if i've just like given my eyebrows that oomph effect i'm just gonna blend it out with a soft pinch of my hand now that the fixing spray has melted the makeup into my skin i'm gonna go in with my setting spray and this is from maybelline fit me lifesaver let me do my lips and my eyelashes and be right back this is what it looks like and um honestly if you ask me i cannot tell you which side is better or prefer the peach one because that gives a more natural finish regardless of the hollowness that i have according to the coverage this is so good you cannot cannot even tell which side is the orange corrector and which is the peach one both look iconic right now Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If this video really helped you out, do not forget to subscribe and leave me down a comment. Tell me how I helped you. That would be so great. I'll see you next time. Bye.